Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So it's nice to see you again mga lords and uh, for today ang discuss natin is uh, exact differential equation. So ito yung mga solved problems. So meron tayong tatlong solved problems dito, dalawa yung general, tapos yung isa ay number two particular solution. Pero before that, shout out muna sa mga lodi natin kay Corinne Costes, kay uh, Reynald Darbasa, at kay Neil John Santos. Mga lodi, salamat sa patuloy na sa pag-support and pag-subscribe sa channel natin. And sana mas may matutunan pa sa mga susunod na panahon. And I hope you all the best. Keep safe na lang in this pandemic. Tsaka, ayun, good luck din pala sa mga mag-online classes this coming Monday. So, kaya-kaya niyan mga guys. Keep focus lang. Okay? So, exact differential equation. Tuwing kailan ba natin masasabi ng isang differential equation na exact? Kapag nakalagay siya in the form, mdx plus ndy is equal to zero. And then, kapag yung partial derivative ng m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x, that is considered as an exact differential equation. Okay? So, mamaya papakita natin yan. So, paano ba natin gagawin yan? Okay, so number 1, y squared minus 1 dx plus 2xy minus sine y dy is equal to 0. So, Sir IJ, paano po ginagawa yan? So, una muna natin kailangan gawin is to determine ano ba yung m, ano yung n. So, yung m natin yung kapartner ng dx. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung m natin, mga load. Ito yung n natin. And then, nakalagay dito for a differential equation to be exact. So, we have to differentiate. Partial differentiation is the key. So, partial differentiate with respect to y. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Derivative dito with respect to y. So, parang ang ibig sabihin nito, itatrato natin yung x as constant. Tandaan nyo yan, mga lods, ha? Tra ang treatment natin dito is x is constant. Ano derivative ng y squared? That is 2y. Derivative ng 1, negative 1, that is 0 kasi constant yun. Next, integral of n with respect to x. So, ano derivative ng 2xy? Ganun din. Yung y, itatreat mo as constant. Ano derivative ng 2x, mga lods? That's 2. Then, ibalik mo yung y. 2y. Tapos, Yung sine y, di ba, y nga is constant. Therefore, ang sine y is a constant value. Kaya ang derivative niya ay 0, mga lodi. Therefore, since the two partial derivatives are equal, this is an exact differential equation. Sir IJ, paano po pag exact na yung DE natin? So, kung napanood niyo yung uh, DE, uh, yung, YouTube, yung YouTube video natin last, week, last year, meron na akong pinost na method nito. So, yun, babalikan lang natin siya. So, ang method kasi nito, kapag exact yung DE, that is the integral of m dx, tapos itrato mo yung y as constant, plus integral of n dy without the x terms is equal to 0. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Yung y, ito treat mo as constant dun sa unang different integral. Sa pangalawa, kapag may x terms, ika-cancel out mo, hindi na siya kasali. Kasi para magiging repeated na yung factor Although alam ko yung mga prof nyo may mga ibang way ng pag-solve dito, pero kasi yung method is IG, direct to the point. I mean, you don't have to, ano, same lang din naman siya ng approach actually. Sobrang same lang. So, mas madali to. I mean, yung mga ibang prof ng mga friends ko, pinapagamit nga to sa students nila. And I hope pagamit din to sa inyo, especially lalo kapag nag-midterm or ano na kayo, mga midterm exam, prelim. So, yun guys, kaya kaya niyan. So, ano mangyari dito, Sir IG? So, that is integral of y squared minus 1 dx plus integral of 2xy minus sine y dy is equal to 0. So, ano po mangyayari dyan? Itong may x dito, mawawala na agad yan kasi without x terms. So, yung y squared natin, tinrato natin siyang constant. So, parang ang integral lang constant, di ba maglalagay ka lang naman ng x tas times yung constant. Therefore, this is xy squared. Ang integral ng negative 1, that is negative x. Ang integral ng negative sine y, tama idol, that is positive cos sine y. So, ang integral ng 0 ay constant. Therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay, di ba simple lang siya? Sige, try natin yung number 2 mga guys. I-post nyo na lang mga load if ever kukopihin nyo. Para magamit nyo sa mga board work, etc. Okay, number 2 x plus y dx plus x plus 2y 
dy is equal to 0. Sa unang tingin, ang assumption agad natin sa kanya is homogeneous. Kasi parehas sila ng degree. Yung degree nila parehas ay 1. Pero, pwede mo kasing itest agad siya for exactness. So, that is, ito yung m natin. Ito yung m natin. Tandaan natin guys, yung given natin, ah, meron tayong initial value. Kaya particular solution dapat yung kailangan natin. So, ano derivative ng m? Partial derivative ng m with respect to y. That is equal to, ang x natin, trata, itatrato natin as constant. So, wala na yan. Ano derivative ng y? That is 1. Next, partial derivative of n with respect to x. Yung x natin, that is 1. Ano derivative ng 2y? Yung y naman natin, yung constant. That is 0. Therefore, na-verify natin na the DE is exact. Next, ano na yung next natin gagawin dyan? So, ang next natin gagawin dyan is yung method natin. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, that is, that is integral of mdx plus integral of ndy equals 0. So, ito yung y is constant. Ito yung without x. Without x terms. Integral of x plus y dx plus integral of x plus 2y dy is equal to 0. Yung may x dito, di ba mawawala na agad yan? Cancel out na natin agad mga logs. Ano yung integral ng x? That is x squared over 2. Okay? Ano yung integral ng y? So, constant lang yan. Lalagyan lang natin siya ng x. Plus, ano yung integral ng 2y? That is y squared equals constant over 2. Ba't nilagyan ko ng over 2? Kasi may over 2 lang. Pwede namang constant din eh. So, dito kasi ako nasanay kung ano yung LCD nila. Doon yung nilalagay ko as denominator. Tapos, multiply both sides by 2 mga lodi. Therefore, yung general natin will be x squared plus 2xy plus 2y squared is equal to c. Kaya lang ang hinahanap natin particular y of 2 equals 3. Ang ibig sabihin yan mga lodi, if x equals 2, y equals 3. So, that is, substitute mo lang yung x equals 2. So, 2 squared plus 2 times 2. Ano value ng y? 3. So, that is 3 plus 2 times 3 squared equals c. So, ilan yung 2 squared? 4 plus, eto 12, 16 plus 9 times 2, 18. 16 plus 18, 34. So, ibig sabihin ang value ng c natin ay 34. So, ang inahanap, particular solution, etong c, papalitan nyo ng 34. Ito na yung final answer ng mga idol. Ayan na siya. Okay? Ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay, last problem. Number 3. So, yung number 3 naman, ay uh, general lang. So, same method lang din, pero negative kasi yung gitna. Okay, for number 3, ang given is, napansin nyo negative to, di ba, mga lodi? So, kung give, negative yan, i-carry over nyan, i-distributed property nyo. So, that is 3x squared minus 6xy dx. Napansin nyo, di ba, mga lodi, that plus ndy yan. Kaya lang minus yan. So, gawin nyo, plus, pero gawin nyo na siyang negative. I-times nyo na po yung negative 1. Distributed property. Negative 3x squared minus 2y. Ayan. So, ito na yung m. Ito yung n. So, differentiate natin. Ito yung m. n. Partial derivative of n with respect to y. Ang x is constant. So, mawawala. Derivative nito, 0 na. X is constant. Takpan mo. Ano derivative na negative 6y? Negative 6. And then, ibalik mo yung x. That is negative 6x. Partial derivative of n with respect to x. That is, ito constant na. Kasi ang uh, y natin ay constant. Deri ang derivative ng constant, 0. Takpan mo yan. Ano derivative ng ano? Negative 3x squared. That is negative 6x. Therefore, the d is exact. And then, same method, sir, ij. That is 3x squared minus 6xy dx plus integral of n dy negative 3x squared minus 2y dy is equal to 0. Anong sabi ko kanina? Yung may x, mawawala. So, ito wala na agad yan. Kasi without x. So, ano magiging integral ng 3x squared? Uh, Malodi, that is x cubed by power rule. So, bakit naging ganun, Sir IJ? Balikan yung integral calculus. Add 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Over 2 plus 1. Ang 2 plus 1 ay 3. 3 over 3, that is 1. Kaya, x cubed matitira. Minus, etong y, takpan mo. Ano yung integral ng negative 6x? 
So, power rule ulit, that is negative 3x squared. Tapos, ilagay mo yung y. Ano integral ng negative 2y? Tama, idol. Same lang din. Negative y squared is equal to c. Therefore, ito na yung general solution natin. So, guys, just in case meron kayong questions or concerns, huwag kayo may mag-comment sa comment section. And then, guys, I hope you all the best. Huwag palain tayo ni Lord. And gaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, good luck dun sa mga may online classes this coming Monday. And keep focused. And alam ko kayang kaya nyo yun, guys. Mahirap man, pero dapat kayanin. God bless us ulit. See you on my next match tutorial video. Thank you so much.